what is up guys so excited the bite that i have been waiting for to show up is finally here and we are catching them on the draw nine big stripers absolutely plowing it this video is freaking one of my best videos that i'm going to come out with this year it is so much fun watching these fish come up and smash this thing so much fun to hook them and fight them stay tuned you're not going to want to miss this one please like subscribe share this video so it can blow up and make sure you guys get you one of these draw nines i'll have the links in the description as usual and uh at the end of the video go through kind of how we're catching them and how we're working them but uh hope you enjoyed this video is freaking amazing Pounded it. Absolutely pounded it. Look at that thing. Freaking draw nine. Live gizzard, first one of the morning. We just got here. Let's see what she is. That was a giant. That was a ten. Oh, oh, oh. oh there's one. Oh, he broke me off, dude. Draw nine, live gizzard, number two. Look at that, nice one, we'll weigh him. We'll see what our best five stripers are, but live gizzard on the draw nine. They're eating this morning. Twenty-four, not a big one, nice but anyone on the draw is a good.
go. Jesus, you're trying to lose a rod here, huh? Oh, that one? <laughs> I'll go ahead and push her down for you. Go pro. Oh, another big one on the draw nine. This one's the pro's choice. Big girls. Bailey Swam, Genesis 3, draw 9, and a freaking big old striper. There is nothing more fun than catching these things on this giant swim bait. Nothing more. Just want to jump in here real quick and uh, kind of explain the importance of throwing the right line on uh, when you're throwing these big swim baits. I know there's people that throw fluorocarbon. I know people have success with it, but as a general rule of thumb and uh, a lot of the people that I talk to and kind of what I've found over the years is throwing that P-line CXX copolymer is so important because it's insanely strong like fluorocarbon but it has just just enough stretch when you're chucking these big swim baits all day it doesn't wear out and uh it doesn't kind of it doesn't get nicks in it and then like fluorocarbon if there's a little nick and you go to cast it's gone as you just saw and unfortunately we lost both the bait and the rod and reel so that was an expensive one um but when you're hucking those big baits there's so much power you know rods go flying when stuff breaks off so uh that's kind of the importance of throwing throwing the right line i throw i run the p-line cxx 25 i run 20 25 and 30 just kind of depends what they got in stock at the store um all three of those if you can get 25 that's that's definitely my favorite for these big big baits but all three of those will definitely get the job done and uh let's get back to the action much fun just smashing the old draw 
One of these days, Mason will catch one and not break off the biggest of the day. These little ones are the dangerous ones. Draw nine, pro's choice. Well, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that day of fishing was just so much fun. It kind of planned on it being a couple hour deal and we ended up staying for most of the day just because the fishing was so dang good. Obviously, all of our fish we caught came on the draw nine. A um, Couple different colors, I kept messing around with it. Last year, I really only threw the 4K shad and never really kind of branched out. So uh, today, we caught some on the 4K. Mason was throwing the 4K. Um, I threw it a little bit. Um, pro's choice I caught it probably the most on pro's choice because that's the one I threw the longest um, live gizzard that was the the first time I threw that one was today or I guess yesterday I'm shooting <laughs> shooting the outro yesterday or the day after but um, live gizzard caught them good um, really any of the colors man it doesn't really matter all it is is something big with that right profile and uh, what was crazy is we kind of mixed it up a little bit, you know, in the glide bait world, the draw nine at $75. Yeah, $75 for a bait is pretty dang expensive. But in the glide bait world, that's really not expensive at all. And uh, Mason kind of mixed in and threw some, you know, some Chad Chads and, and some other different, you know, really expensive glide baits, you know, $150, $200 baits. And uh, they wouldn't touch it. it. It's crazy. There's something about this draw nine. I've been saying it for the last year once I started figuring out and started throwing it more. There's something about the way this thing glides, maybe the sound it makes. But these stripers are coming up from anywhere from 10 foot, from 30 foot. And you can see them on live scope just coming all the way up. And like I said, there's something about this bait. I don't know what it is. I think it's, it's either the sound or just that big wide glide that it does. Um, that just outfishes every glide out there for for the stripers which is nice that it isn't you know a $200 glide it is 75 it is a little expensive but uh, I'll leave the link in the description for the colors we were throwing that day um, but like I said if something's out of stock just pick a shad color that that you enjoy that you think looks good there's not really a bad color as long as you stay in the shad realm any one of those will catch them I know there's um, like ghost glide um, I'm completely drawing a blank. There's Matt, um, Matt Natural or something like that. Any of those baits that are in that shad color, they will catch them. Um, kind of go through the setup on rod, super important. Um, I run the Bailey Swim Genesis 3. It's, uh, it's heavy enough, it's rated three to eight ounces, so it's heavy enough to throw this bait, it's just under four ounces. Um, I love the Quercus Bailey Swim but it's rated one to four ounces and you're right at that like upper edge of what that rod can handle. And uh, it just, I feel like you gotta be a little more careful and not, not to load up and snap that rod. So that's why I like the Genesis 3, only 150 bucks. And uh, it's stiff enough, you can just load that thing up and just send this thing a mile. And long casts are super important when you're throwing this bait. Um, kind of went over it a little bit before when Mason threw the bait and the rod and reel in the water, but uh, P-Line CXX, I'm running 25, 20, 25, 30. Stick with anything over 20. I wouldn't go over 30, um, but that line really helps control those fish when you hook them because some of them, I mean, they're 10, 15 pounders in the video. Um, you can see right off the bat, I had one that was over 15, smashed it at the boat. You can see the big old swirl. I mean, it was... I wish you got a hook, I really did. But that lake has those 20, 30, and there's some 40 pound stripers swimming around in that lake. So you wanna make sure you have a line that's strong enough that if you get lucky enough to stick one of those fish, you can get them in, but also heavy enough that you don't end up casting your $75 bait into the water and throwing your rod in the water. So 
P-Line CXX Copoly, not fluoro. I know fluoro works for some guys. General rule of thumb, stick with the Copoly, P-Line CXX. 300 size reel, super important because you have that 20, 25, 30 pound line. Um, so your spool can hold enough line to make those long, long, long casts. Um, I have the Tranks here. Tranks are pretty hard to get sometimes. Um, the Corrados are great. Um, the Tatulas, the, any, any 300 size reel and the brand that you like, go with that. Um, whether you're a Daiwa, Shimano, Luz, whatever, whatever brand you guys like, I'm a Shimano guy. I love the Tranks, I love the Corrados. Um, but yeah, real important, links will be all in the description below. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, subscribe, share the video for your friends to watch. And uh, hopefully you get out there and you can catch a giant striper on one of these draw knives.